In this lesson, we're going to look at the AFS procedures for climb and cruise and continue the flight from the previous lesson. Let's review the status of the AFS. First, check the FMA as a reminder of the AFS status. As you can see, thrust is armed but not active. The active FD modes are SRS and heading select with altitude mode armed. The flight directors are engaged, but as yet no AP has been engaged. Your next action is to select the landing gear up. At this point, auto thrust is re-clutched and you should check on the FMA that thrust has engaged again. Thrust or speed cannot engage until autothrust is re-clutched. Autothrust is re-clutched at a minimum of 5 seconds after liftoff when the landing gear is selected up or a thrust mode other than takeoff or flex takeoff is selected on the TRP. At this time you would be able to engage the autopilot. However, the actual point at which you can engage the autopilot depends on the regulatory authorities. So for now, we'll leave the AP off. You are now reaching thrust reduction altitude. If you're not using profile climb, then you need to ensure that climb or cruise are selected on the TRP at this point. You've now reached your acceleration altitude. You should activate the preset function that you entered prior to takeoff. Do this now. Activating the preset function allows the aircraft to accelerate to up to 250 knots during this phase of climb. The aircraft will be accelerating from V2 plus 10 knots. Also at this point, Speed replaces SRS mode. Altitude remains armed. ATC now requests a new heading of 330 degrees. You need to rotate the heading selection knob to enter your desired heading. Your clearance has now been revised. Maintain vertical speed of 2,500 feet per minute up to flight level 100. First, select the control to enter your new altitude. Now, select the control to enter the new vertical speed. The aircraft will now climb to flight level 100 and then level off. Approximately 1,000 feet before your cleared altitude, you should reduce vertical speed. Anyway, your aircraft will level off automatically at a rate depending on the existing vertical speed. Now check the FMA altitude acquire has replaced vertical speed, indicating that you have entered the capture phase. When at the required altitude, altitude replaces altitude acquire, and the altitude hold push button illuminates on the FCU. On reaching flight level 100, you receive clearance from ATC to climb to flight level 310. You are now going to initiate the climb and increase speed. From now on, you will be using AP1. Select the control to engage AP1. As you'll recall, when the AP is engaged in flight, it automatically engages in command.
Now check the FMA. This tells you that AP1 has engaged in command. Now select the Altitude Selector knob to enter your crew's altitude. Once you have entered the new altitude, you can then initiate the climb. To initiate the climb, you need to pull the Altitude Selector knob. Select the knob now. Depressing the Level Change push button will have the same result. Check the FMA again. As you can see, thrust has replaced speed as the ATS automatically engages in thrust mode. Speed has replaced altitude as the active mode and altitude is now armed. At this point, increase speed to 300 knots. The AFS will now acquire and maintain 300 knots. Let's say we've reached approximately 29,000 feet. Have a look at the FMA. In column 2, Speed has been replaced by Mach. This automatically happens when passing the crossover altitude. Continuing the climb, Altitude Acquire now replaces Mach as the aircraft enters the altitude capture phase and Thrust is replaced by Mach. You've now reached the cruise altitude. One final check of the FMA shows altitude now active. And of course, on the FCU, level change has extinguished and altitude hold has illuminated. You now receive ATC clearance to intercept and maintain radial 360 degrees from Lima Mike Golf VOR. First check that both VOR NAV ILS switches are selected to VOR. The VOR frequency and course have been selected for you. Now you need to arm VOR mode. As you can see from the FMA, VOR mode is now armed. As you know, in this example, the aircraft will automatically intercept the radial. But you're able to help the aircraft to intercept by setting appropriate headings on the FCU. As the aircraft enters the capture phase, VOR Acquire is enunciated on the FMA in place of heading selection. As VOR Acquire is now the active mode, the heading selection mode select a push button is no longer illuminated. Once on track, the enunciation will of course change from VOR Acquire to VOR.
When the aircraft is established on the track, slave the heading window with the current aircraft heading. Now let's leave the aircraft in cruise. In the next lesson, you'll continue with the flight from top of descent through to approach and landing.